You see, this is the last of the chains. The chains of a book that has been used for millennium to indoctrinate, enslave, and bring warlike attributions to the world. People have conquered with that book. That book has been used to create curses on you and you allowed it. You're okay with that. And those curses were made because the people who use the very book that you put your faith in and you idolize, they use that book. And they were allowed to use that book by the person who wrote it to enslave you. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with the curses that you vow to accept? Are you accepting the curse? Would a creator put a curse on you? Rape your children, your mother, your daughter, your sons? Would a creator do that to you? Or did you make a vow with someone who was not the creator? That is the question. Could the very things that the God of the Bible told you you should not be into be the very things that could free you? Why were you given these gifts? Why is it that another, a mother knows if her child is in danger and her child is not with her? Why is it that some can even tell the future? Should you deaden that gift in you because someone wrote in a book that it was wrong? When it is you, you were born this way? Do we just excuse it away and say that an entity is enveloping us? You see, we don't have to sit and meditate and use a kundalini to open our pineal. Questioning opens your pineal. When you left your former religion, your pineal was opened. And yes, are there dangers and things that we have no ability to know because it's been taken from us? Of course. But if we have been reared in these gifts, allowed to, to, to take these gifts and nourish them and cultivate them, then we'd have no fear of the unseen. We'd be able to fight and protect our ve vessel from these unseen. You see, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, one of the things that they indoctrinated me with was to believe that I could not have the Creator without them. And so if I decided to erase myself from that belief system and divorce the belief system that they gave me, then they taught and they believed and they indoctrinated me to believe that if I ever did, that I was divorcing myself from my creator. And so that's what kept me in. That's what kept many in. Millions stay in because they see God, the creator, in harmony with a religion. And so the same thing holds true. Many, millions, billions have been told that they cannot have the creator if they do not accept a book. Is that not an audacious statement? An audacious move upon religion that has indoctrinated us to believe that we cannot have the creator without a book? Pages that wear, that water can ruin the ink, that mold. Pages on a book that cannot speak unless you read it. Who told us this lie? So does the man who does not read and vow, vow your book but obeys the laws of the universe that does not kill, that feeds the hungry, that shows love, if he, is he less valued in the creator's eye than you because he does not idolize your book? How arrogant of us. We have been taught arrogance and we teach it to our children. Where will you be without a book? Who will you be without a book? Did you need a book to tell you how wonderfully made you are? That you're good? That you are a vessel of incredible strength? A vessel that is the epitome of greatness? And a vessel that can raise to Godship? Did you need a book to tell you that? Did you not know that you are a creator without a book? You can create children and offspring. Did you need a book 
to tell you that your race was beautiful? Or was that book used to tell you that you were ugly? Where will you be without a book? Where will you be when cognitive dissonance does no longer serve its way in your life? Where will you be? Where will you be when you have no more defenses? You will be challenged now. Things are coming down now, and I'm warning you. I'm sent. I think it, I am here, and many are here to warn you that you will lose your mind if you don't get ready for this information that's coming your way. You will lose your mind. Where will you be without your book? Who are you without your book? Did you not know how to show love to your child, to your offspring, without a book? Did you need a book to tell you that? Did you need a book to tell you that life is precious? That you shouldn't rob, you shouldn't steal? Did you need a book for that? Did you need a book to infringe upon the whole world and tell them how to live their lives? The whole world, every nation in the world lives through the tenets of the universal law in which we all know that it is wrong to harm a child, it is wrong to kill, it is wrong to steal, it is wrong to lie. We all know this. No matter if we hold the book on a pedestal or not, for it is in us. We know law. But you have been taught that you need to quote a verse, you need to carry around a book, you need to throw that book at people. You need to judge people, condemn people, tell people they can't have the creator without it. Is that book on islands that are deserted with just the Amazon Indians in it? Is that book in nations that have never reached its shores? Are they condemned? Are they condemned to hell?